Alright guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, this video is part two of the Super Duty door panel swap series. And this is the final video, and in this one we'll cover how to do the window switch and power mirror controls for a Super Duty truck. Alright, so in this video we're going to show you what to do with the uh, pinouts for the uh, earlier style window switch to the new style. Now this is only for a single cab or an extended cab. I don't know what the pinouts are for the for the crew cabs because I'm not working on that right now. I'm only working on a single cab with uh, also the extended cabs, the same thing. So this is what we're working with and uh, this is the diagram. I'm going to actually show you. A lot of people don't, but what's the point of that? I'm going to actually show you where the pinouts go and what everything goes to. So this is the plug side, obviously. I'll, sh I'll go show you on the truck what we're going to do. Alright, so first thing, you're going to take this little orange cover off. So, let's get that. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is take a tool like this. You get it on eBay, Amazon, five bucks. You use the right, correct one. In this case, it's one of these flat ones. Get in there, you lift up the little plastic tab. And then you slide the connector out. So what you're going to want to do is take this diagram here. Now this may be different for your truck, I'm not sure, but this is the case for my truck. And you want to match up the pins to the correct ones. So you basically want to pop out the O2 ones and put them in the O8 ones. But you got to remember that this is the plug side diagram. This isn't this isn't the uh truck side. this side right here. Alright guys, it's that simple. So when you do this, your four and your six are the empty ones. Take your take your new new switch. It's got the same connector. Come in here, plug it in the right way. It's kinda hard with one hand, but Plug it in, it's good to go. This would sit like this in your new door panel. Watch this. Auto down. Up. Now the passenger one doesn't work yet because we didn't do that one yet. It's a complete circuit, so if this side doesn't work, if that side doesn't work, then this side will not be able to control it. So you need to do both of those before you test that one, but we'll get to that one. But so far the driver one works great. It all works good, so that's how you do it. For the driver side, we'll do the passenger side next. Here we go. Quick note that I didn't say, don't forget to put this little orange piece back in there. All right, so for the passenger side window switch, lucked out here because when Ford made this the pinouts are exactly the same and the plug is exactly the same so you can just take your new one and it should just plug right in and you want to make sure but I double checked on my year um, that it's the same and just want to double check because you don't want to fry anything or wires or blown fuses trying to figure this thing out just double check yourself but for my case it plugs right in okay here's the test window goes down window goes up go check the driver's side Important tip, make sure that they're both plugged in, because if one's plugged in, one's not, like I said before, they're not going to work. Alright, so what I did for the uh, mirror control switch was I took my new switch and 
I use some diagrams which I'll throw in there. I'll post the pictures of those. And I uh, basically rerouted and repinned the wires, but I took the, uh, had the new style connector from a donor truck. So I took that connector and I soldered it to the old harness. And then I went from there and I repinned it accordingly toward to the diagram and then I got it to work. And the only thing that doesn't work is that the right and left controls are reversed because the newer mirrors are uh, reversed in those directions with the motor. So I'm not sure if I can get down into the into here somewhere where the wire meets and switch it, but I'll let you know if I get that far. For right now, it's fine. It, it uh, works fine going up and down and stuff. See, that's reversed and this one is reversed. But I guess if you don't really care about that, it works fine. I tried every single wire combination to try to fix that, but I just could not. And so that's, that's how that works. All right, you'll notice that on the new style diagram for the pins, there's an option for the power folding mirrors, but mine does not have that, so I just left that pin completely empty and didn't hook anything up to it. Okay, so that will conclude this video series. All the controls are complete, and the next step is pretty straightforward, and it is just taking your new door panel and putting it on. Some slight modification around the door handle may be necessary, but in my case, I'm just throwing on 2008 doors, so I won't need to be doing that modification. And um, that should pretty much wrap up the door panel swap. Some people say that slight trimming in the front is needed so that it doesn't hit the dashboard if you're using the old style dashboard, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that because I'm eventually swapping the new style dashboard in, so I'm not going to trim up my uh, new door panel so that I don't cut them up or destroy them or anything like that. This is what it looks like when it's all put together. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and stay tuned for more.